Hey everybody, it's Eddie Ray with Destination Campground and this is Campground B of Roan Mountain State Park. So if you know there's an A, there's also a B and I've toyed with doing videos that have multiple campgrounds and doing multiple segments. Now I've done this one in two segments, you'll have a campground A, B and the reason why is because they're vastly different. Campground A is flat, it's a loop, has some tent sites. Campground B is not flat. It is partial loop and has a turnaround at the end. It revolves around a bathhouse. But you'll see what I'm saying about how different they are. If you reach this video, take a look right up here and you'll see Campground A. So two different videos, Campground A, Campground B. Let's take a look. So as you cross the roadway into Campground B, you're going to find a nice, very pretty creek. Um, so I think it's the Doe Creek or river to one side back side if you go to the Smoky Mountains which is where we are or you visit Gatlinburg you kind of see resemblance cobblestone river good rapids fish uh, now beyond that Doe River is a playground that sits down here you can see some swings and such it's been kind of wet today and then there's also another playground right here. So playgrounds available at the entrance of Campground B. As I said earlier, there's an abundance of restrooms. There are several playgrounds. They have tennis courts here. They have um, a pool that's being renovated this year. Saw some other things, a couple of other playgrounds, and you'll get a glimpse of that also. So the first site you come up to here in the B campground is this one. I'm not sure which number that is. We'll look at it on the flip side. But there is a loop. And the loop is 58 through 90, 91 through 106. We're going to take the 58 through 90. We're going to make it up this hill. As you can see, we've already come up this hill. And we're going to make it up this way. There's a bathhouse up this way. We'll take a look. 58, 59, and the first empty site we come across is 60. It is half gravel back here and half asphalt. Services are here and on the side, picnic table, grill, burn pit. Sixty two is this site. It's rather small, has a fenced edge, burn pit, table, grill. Now, across from those is your bathhouse. I'm not sure about the residual lighting from the bathhouse, but you can see there's one within very short proximity to these sites. Site 63, it's a pretty good sized camper. If you feel comfortable maneuvering in these tight spaces, that's fine. Uh, I think these are probably the better of the Part B campsites. Be the low or the 60s to 70. And there's a couple others, but uh, I feel most comfortable with these. 64, 65. 67 this one here again the bathhouse is right beside us so again these aren't too bad 
but I would be cautious getting anything of substantial size. This here with the side is site 68. It's a good level site. It's tight between these trees here and here, but easily uh, accessible. And of course you see the bathhouse. Uh, now what you have to do though, is you're gonna have to back up this road or pull up this road and then back into that site. We'll make our way on up. Let's take a look at 69. It looks like a reasonable site as well. It's site 69. Picnic table near the end. And then pretty narrow. If it rains, it's like you're gonna get a lot of water build up in this area. Of course, it's coming off this hillside too, so it's whatever you like. Campsite 70, right there. This is campsite 72. It takes a shorter trailer for a tow vehicle, unless it's a motorhome. Table, grill, burn ring. Let's take a look at the bay on this one. This is great exploring for the kids. So back behind there, there's a runoff. And directly across from this site, there's about 30 stairs. That takes you up to the bathhouse. These are well secluded, it's quiet up here, but you're up. And you know, if you don't feel real comfortable uh, backing into sites yet on a hill, then I would question this, but otherwise, if you feel comfortable and you know your size and rig and you know your capabilities as well as the vehicle and camper's capabilities, if you're comfortable with that, you should be a go. And just keep in mind, it does require some skill or some nerve, whichever, I don't know which is which. Campsite 72. Good size camper. 74. Seventy-five. Now the table for seventy-five, let's take a look at it. You got your sight, right? Here we go. Your hookups. Then up the hill here is your picnic table, your grill, and then the bird ring is back in the back. We'll go up there. Burn ring. And again, you have all this runoff and exploring that can be done. This is site 77 here behind me, directly across from 77. This is Camp Post at site 76. He tells me that it's about five degrees cooler up here than it is down at Campground A. So that's, that's encouraging. Now here we are with some bathroom access. So at the top of the hill of the loop is another bathhouse and the men's, women's, and this is an access area. We're gonna go a little further down and these are the sites on the side. These are short sites, so on what you're pulling or maybe pulling, but like this here is campsite. That is site 79. Directly across from 79 is 80, you see the forerunner with the teardrop. And they alternate as we go down. 81. This is across from 81. It's 
like 82, 83. Well, this one here is 84. And you can see they have a, a larger size camper there. Right here is 83. This site 87. You can see it. Go up here to site 88. It's empty. Eighty nine here, and then uh, what the Tioga is is ninety. Okay, so and these aren't too bad. It depends on your level of comfort. We'll go across the street. We're back on the main roadway, and directly across where the loop exits is one hundred five. This is site 105. Now, to get to 105, you have to go uphill, and then you gotta loop around, and then come back down, and that way you can back into your site. bathhouse at the top of the hill this is higher than the loop so this is site 96 camp post you have to loop around and then you'll come out here and it takes you down this way now that may look level from where I'm at but uh, I can assure you it's anything but it's pretty well straight uphill again Knowing your tow vehicle, knowing your camper, and knowing your driving skill is important, I feel like, in this area. So, we'll take a look at the size of the campers that we've got up here, but you'll get an idea of what can get up here. Site 96 is the campground host. So, from what I gather, there are three hosts. This is Site 97, a couple of vehicles. 350 pickup truck car and then camper and on the other side once you loop around the bathhouse is site 98 and he's got a good size imagine in his area you can see the table but we're on the side of a cliff. That shows you. This is site 95 here, and stairs to the back of the site. And then as we walk along, you know, here your utilities are right here, right? So up here is your picnic table up these stairs. I was initially confused because there are some that are right here. Well, that belongs to the next site down. So you can see that you're stacking things up. Just to show you something I can appreciate real quick. 1950 model travel trailer. Chromed out, polished aluminum. Drove it all the way from Texas to Roan Mountain, Tennessee. Uh, pulled it with this expedition. Sweet. This is site 94 right here. The same is it has the stairs and then up to the picnic table, grill, and all up there. Not to be at the end of the site, but further up. Site 101 here. Site 102. Smaller trailer. Campsite here has a Durango and an R pod. And then on down here to one empty site, which is site 103, here. That's site 103. One thing it has is a bridge. 
And if we follow this bridge over, it takes us to your picnic table. Uh, and then burn ring and greet. Finally making it back down the hill was a couple more sites at the end of the spur. The only thing I can emphasize with Campground B is know your tow vehicle, know your vehicle and your camper and know your driving capabilities. Otherwise, these sites look very reasonable. They all have water, electricity, um, burn ring or fire pit, grill, and electricity. Bathhouse at each of the top of the uh, site B, the, the spur and the loop, so you shouldn't have any issues with that, uh, and easily accessible. Site 104, right here, picnic table. We've got plenty of space, easily able to get into. I wouldn't expect any issues. Uh, site 105 is this site here. Same. Now their stuff is down here, just a little spell. Probably a six, five foot drop. Let's talk about 106. This thing got in there. It's pretty level here. Uh, and there's some roadway that you can utilize to get a camper that large in here. You shouldn't have any problems. So that's 106. Okay, we're returning off Campground B, and there's a couple things to point out. If you're at Campground A, there are kids riding bicycles all the time. It's a great loop, a great spot to ride. People walking all the time. There's some conversation to be had most of the time. Uh, deer jumped right out in front of me we have them in our backyard but it's nice to see nature out here enjoying itself but campsite or campground b doesn't have the luxury of people walking in loops because it's so the elevation changes so much whereas campground a is level or flat and then of course you make it to the top of the hill on the spur you're doing something uh, as you can probably see i was probably a little bit winded getting up the top there, but that's just how it is. This is high growth forest. The trees are up there, and if you get up here and stay, and you're in Campground B, you're uh, probably gonna be a little bit secluded. Stay close to your area or within your area and not have any issues. I can't discount it, it's a nice little campground. Um, I don't know that I would stay there, but for those that like that seclusion, and uh, maybe just want a spot in the park. There you go. Well, the video for Campground B. Subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. Follow me along. We just passed a thousand subscribers. That's pretty big. I've been doing this a few years and really not put a whole, whole lot of effort into it, but just enough to stay consistent and do a few things. As you know, I've had a cancer journey we followed through with, and that's videoed, and as well as the campground. And we're trying to get back into campgrounds and doing the things we love to do. So it's important to us, you know, we've said dream big, live for the moment, and that rings ever so true nowadays, especially after this diagnosis and getting back to some normal life. Nonetheless, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button, like button, leave a comment, do whatever you'd like to do. I'm Eddie Chris with Destination Campground. You all have a great day.